Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So today, for those of you who don't know, um, I'm going to be getting my windows tinted on my 2018 Hyundai Kona. And uh, I've come to Vaughan, uh, just uh, north of Toronto, uh, to tint guys who, um, who I booked an appointment with earlier on in the week. So I just wanted to give you guys a look at what the windows currently look like. So when I bought the car from the factory, um, you can see that none of the windows are tinted at all. They're all just clear. And uh, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I wear glasses all the time. So when I get the sun blazing in my eyes, it uh, it really irritates me, especially when I'm driving. So I think I'm one of the, the first uh, appointments for this morning. I'm going to get them tinted as dark as possible, uh, legally of course. So this is what the outside exterior of the car looks like and you can see that without any film or tint that you can see right into my vehicle and especially in my trunk this is one thing that really bothered me because um, I mean I took off that that uh, plastic piece that kind of uh, divides the the trunk just to give it some more space and now everything is completely visible in the back but as you can see, like it's it's fairly see-through. Everybody can look inside. Um, so I'm hoping that these are going to get darker, so you can't really see inside anything. And let's see the results when I come back. So they finished doing the work. I just got the car back and I'm inside of it, of course. Um, so this is the front windshield and you might think it looks the same as it did before and you're absolutely correct. Nothing was done to the windshield. I didn't get anything uh, put on here. So if you wanna look at the sides now, this is the driver side window and that's the passenger side window. So in Ontario, I guess the legal limit for these are 35. Um, which is what I got on these two and this is ceramic uh, ceramic tinting and then on the back windows and in the trunk those are slightly darker right now I know there's a lot of sunlight so it doesn't look like um, there's much done to them but the back are both 15 um, and the trunk is also 15 so let me just swing around here to the other side so let's go outside the car and I'll show you guys around just to see if there's any difference from the outside all right guys, so here's the tint, and you can see that it's significantly darker than what it was before. So again, these front ones, they're about 35, I believe. I mean, you can still see inside, but it's a lot harder to look inside. Um, these back ones, they're 15. Um, I, the only darker I could have gone was maybe a five, but I thought, you know what, just leave it at 15 because I don't want it to be too dark where I can't see out of them, especially when I drive at night. Um, here's my trunk, a lot better. You can't barely see anything on the inside. And I'll just give you guys a view here from the other side. And I think this 15 and 35 actually look kind of nice because they're they kind of blend into each other, which is good. Um, whereas if I went with the five, it would maybe be, be a little bit too dark. And here's the front again. So all in all, I think they did a great job. Everything looks good. Um, what they did tell me was that the tint is going to uh, take about a couple of days, maybe three to a week, uh, to dry out completely. Um, and I obviously can't open up the windows within the next 24 hours. Um, but I think they did a great job. It looks good. And uh, I think this is really going to help on those sunny days when you're driving. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. <laughs> 